Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be doing a review of the new Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. This is the newest launch from Hourglass and I saw this and I just had to grab it. So if you want to find out more about this beautiful product right here, how it applies and with a wear test on my combination oily skin type, then keep on watching. So this is supposed to be a weightless liquid foundation that delivers buildable medium coverage with a light diffusing effect for up to 16 hours. It is inspired by the iconic ambient lighting collection, you know, the powders, the bronzers, the blushes, all of those are really stunning products. Um, so this is inspired by that collection. It's a foundation that is infused with blurring spheres to minimize the look of imperfections for a skin that looks smooth, even, and glowing. Um, it is transfer resistant and it is also resistant to humidity and sweat for flawless looking coverage that stays in place. Again, it had that 16 hour claim. So we will definitely, I'm not gonna wear it for 16 hours. It is actually already almost 12 o'clock. So I will be doing a two day wear test so that I can you know, get a first impression today and then I will apply it kind of on my own day two and give it a good, probably close to 12 hour wear so I can see how it actually you know, holds up, especially in this summer heat and humidity. This has a full fluid ounce. This is the bottle. Is that not the most stunning thing you've ever seen? Absolutely incredible. High-end luxe. It is actual glass. It has the frosted glass and it has their typical, you know, that kind of bronzy brown um, packaging. It is a pump bottle. This is the actual formula. As you can see, it has a little bit of firmness to it. It's not super runny. I did get the shade three because it was described as fair with neutral undertones, which is exactly me. It does look like it's going to be maybe just a tiny bit dark, but considering I have a little bit of a tan in the summer, I think it's going to be nice. So let's just go ahead and apply. Before I start applying though, I am actually going to be testing the ambient or sorry, the Vanish Airbrush Concealer by Hourglass as well. I grabbed this as it is such a highly rated product that's been around for a while and I still have yet to test it. I know a lot of you probably have tested this before, but if you haven't or you're interested in this as well, we are gonna give this a good test. I did get this one in the shade Birch, which is gonna be quite a bit lighter as you can see, but I do like to do that with my concealer so I can go ahead and kind of highlight. So I think the shades are gonna turn out nicely. Um, this is the packaging of the concealer, absolutely stunning. The wand is a little bit unique, which I like. That kind of oval shaped doe foot with a bit of a divot to collect product. The concealer is a full coverage, weightless, waterproof concealer that has micro spherical powders that blur and brighten for up to 16 hours. So again, um, another claim for 16 hours. It's supposed to be crease resistant, light reflecting, um, that blends seamlessly into the skin and diffuses the look of pores and fine lines. It's highly pigmented to conceal the appearance of dark circles, blemishes, and other perfections for smooth, natural, airbrushed finish. So let's go ahead and prime the skin. I'm going to go ahead with my Infallible Matte Lock by L'Oreal. It's just a favorite of mine that I'm very familiar with. I do this, uh, I do use this one a lot for testing products as I'm just so familiar with it. So we are going to blend this into the skin. I'm gonna go ahead with my beauty blender and let's just go ahead and see, you know, what kind of coverage do we get? What does it actually look like on the skin? Yeah, the shade's a little bit um, dark for me, but as you can see, because of my tan, I think it's gonna work. Our neutral tone, like undertone, has a little bit of a yellowish tone, but. As I'm blending it in, it's not too bad. It is a little bit on the yellow side though. I'm gonna kind of keep it on half of the face so we can really see how, what it looks like with and without. It's really blending in nicely though. Really nicely actually. It's like even, I'm not even looking up close yet and I can already tell it's really like smoothing my skin. I know I've heard incredible things about the concealer and I don't know, it's just, uh, Hourglass is a bit of an expensive brand. So I think that's why I haven't always scrapped their products because it's a big purchase. But this one, man, I don't know. I just, I've been hearing such good things about the um, concealer and then this foundation just, I don't know. I like to try products that have like a glow to them because if I can get that kind of, you know, not 
glowy finish, but a little bit more, I like the natural finish better than matte, but a lot of times the matte foundations are the ones that end up being my favorite because they hold up best on my skin. So I'm always down to try a product with a natural finish to see if we can get that beautiful, like not super flat matte finish, but one that will hold up. So fingers crossed, this will be one of the good ones. Okay, so as you can see, we definitely got a good medium coverage. Freckles are still poking through. I don't have a whole lot of blemishes. There's maybe like a little bit of the redness up here poking through, but it's really concealed redness. It's really evened out skin tone, and it has concealed the blemishes and, and spots quite well. Not completely, but it's kind of blurred them. When I look up close, this is so smoothing, so beautiful on the skin. It's undetectable, it's natural, it's smoothing to the skin. This is flawless, guys. I am so impressed. And it's not heavy, it feels like I'm barely wearing anything. It has a bit of that kind of, not dewy, not glowy at all, but it has kind of like, if you've used the ambient line from Hourglass, you know it's not super glowy. Like even the powders and the highlights are very soft, but they're really beautiful and they really are flattering and this is definitely giving that kind of vibe. It's not glowing, but it really gives you that plump, healthy sheen without being glowy. And I really like that. So it's that natural finish that just looks so flattering and healthy and I love it so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the face and then we will go ahead and try the concealer. Okay, so again, so impressed. This looks flawless, beautiful, I'm in love. I don't feel like I need another layer um, because it just really has evened out my skin tone and we also can go in with some concealer to conceal a couple of the blemishes. It's a little bit lighter. We'll, we'll just go ahead and see the coverage wise um, and hopefully it'll blend in nicely. So let's go ahead and see. This concealer, even just the swatch, looks so smooth on the skin, like it's not sinking into any lines. It looks beautiful. So I'm hoping this lives up to all the claims. Okay, so as you can see, this concealer has really brightened up my under eyes, concealed. I would say it's pretty darn close to full coverage, um, and it's really looking super flawless and smooth, just like the foundation. Um, it has a nice natural finish. It's not looking super dry under my eyes. It's actually looking quite smoothing and creamy, so I'm really impressed with both products. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my makeup, and I will be back to show you the finished look, and then we'll go ahead and do the wear test. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I am beyond impressed with this foundation, also with the concealer. Um, being the foundation is new, obviously this is kind of the star of the show, but honestly this, I'm just as impressed. Both products are extremely beautiful on the skin, smoothing, like my skin looks flawless right now. It doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look heavy, it doesn't even feel like I'm wearing any makeup. It looks extremely natural and skin-like on the skin, like undetectable. It has a beautiful coverage and finish to it. It's not super glowy, as I said, it's not dewy. It just has that kind of more natural finish where your skin just looks so hydrated naturally and healthy. Um, so it looks very smoothing to the skin. I like the coverage, it's not over the top. I like the finish. And I'm just loving how everything is going over top of it. Everything is setting and sitting and looking. And I am over the moon about these two products. So I will go ahead and do the wear test and I will let you guys know how I actually you know, feel about them after wearing them for a good couple of days. So stay tuned if you wanna see how these guys hold up. So it's the end of the day, um, day one. Don't mind my hair, I just took it out of the bun and it's a disaster. Um, but also don't mind my nose. So I did have a client today and um, it was a volume full set. So it took me a, a few, like a couple hours, like at least two and a half hours. 
So um, mask was on and rubbed off my nose. So it's not completely transfer proof, but I did wear it for a long time. I was talking the whole time. So I feel like overall, um, you know, it's not horrible. It didn't really wear off my cheeks at all. Like maybe just a tiny bit right here. It really was just on the nose. So I'm, I'm not mad about that for sure. I feel like it um, isn't transfer proof, but it held up decent for the amount of time that I wore the mask. Um, aside from that though, I am so impressed. Like barely a shine. It's been, it's been at least eight hours. Um, I think a little bit, I think it's been, it's probably been close to nine hours now. Um, and barely a shine, especially for a natural finish with kind of that soft glow, you know, minimal shine um, and no breaking down aside from where the mask was. So, you know, you can see it beside my nose, there's barely any bunching up. This is also um, comments to the concealer. So obviously both hand in hand works beautifully. They are extremely flawless on the skin, long wearing. Um, held up to my oils and didn't break down and still look flawless everywhere but where the mask kind of rubbed it off. So definitely day two I will do on a day where I'm not going to be wearing a mask so we can get a good idea as to how it wears when it's not affected by the mask. Um, so yeah, this is update of day one. I am quite impressed so far. Um, so yeah, I will uh, keep you updated. Hey guys, so it is end of day two and I'm back to show you guys um, what it's looking like with a longer wear time. So we are actually at almost 11 hours of wear and we are looking fantastic. So I do have a little bit of wear off the chin. This happens all the time. I've mentioned before that I have like almost a very like prominent chin i just feel like it's where my makeup transfers the most so i would say this isn't completely transfer proof as i've said before as it did transfer off my chin slightly but really not bad for 11 hours tiny bit of like where it's beginning to separate around the nose but really really not bad at all considering it's 11 hours i've seen it so much worse um with other products so this is one of the best makeup days i've had um, barely any shine. It's sunk into my lines like the tiniest bit by the by 11 hours, but really minimal. My face honestly still looks flawless if I just were to go over the few areas with a little bit of powder and touch up. I honestly think that it would look perfect again. So I am absolutely obsessed with the foundation and the concealer. The concealer as well is definitely worth all of the hype it gets. It's beautiful under the eyes. It conceals really well. It looks really nice and flawless, especially paired with this beautiful foundation that's smoothing and great coverage and looks natural in the skin and just has a nice, beautiful, like natural finish with that kind of soft glow. So really, really happy. Definitely holds up to my combination oily skin and I was outside for quite a few hours today in the heat so the humidity really you know took took a toll on it and it still held up so I'm absolutely um, impressed and definitely recommend this product both of them um, so yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed and found this video helpful don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time bye